Gridiron Football with me here at 24 season media day. I'm here with Coach Pierce of Bro Bridge. Um, Coach, how you doing? What's oh, going on? Doing great. Thanks for having us. Man, thanks for coming in. Um, <clears throat> Look, tell me about the summer, Coach. What what you guys been doing this summer? Um, so getting prepared. This this summer has been a, a big learning curve, big uh, big changes. Uh, we changed off, a new offense was implemented June third. Uh, same spread type offense, but still kind of want to use a tight end pro. Uh, okay. You know, and I, I like I want us to be balanced. I want us to be multiple. If we and if it's one of those games that we need to. Uh, rely heavy on the run game and the tight end is what gives us the best look. Let's let's be able to do it and if we need to spread it out wide and uh, still want to set up, you know, kind of run to set up the pass. But right. it's what do we want as far as the box and I don't want to be limited in getting stuck in one realm. Um, it's different for the kids. The kids have been working, I mean they've been working their tails off and look I'm asking them a lot out of them. Uh, a lot of them just played offense last year. Okay. Now they are all play offense and they all play defense okay. so uh, you know if you're a wide receiver you're probably a DB now if you were a DB you're now a wide receiver and so they're learning a new offense June 3rd and they're learning a new defense June 3rd and to say where we're at right now is uh, we're a, a little ahead of schedule is good and that's right. a <clears throat> testament to the kids and also just my assistant coaches right, I mean, right. They, we all in it together. Yeah, yeah. We love you. Hear you say June third because I know it's your first year. Did, did you actually get there in June? So I was I was May. I was able to talk to the kids about two weeks before school. But as far as meeting the offensive coordinator, the the defensive coordinator, um, who the coaching staff was going to be, when we all stepped out on the field June third is when we all were together for the first time. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, so you ended up keeping a lot of guys that was already there. Uh, one. Staff. So one from the previous staff, okay. yeah, and then uh, brought in a whole new, a whole new group. Uh, there were some groups that I mean, some guys that I had coached with my last time at Brobridge High that uh, I just think, as far as for me, I wanted them to come help, and gotcha. they blessed me with the right answer of they're gonna come and help, and yeah, yeah. love it, love um, it. So, so for the for the spring, I know you weren't there. Did, did they end up doing spring or? When we we did not do spring, and okay. um, our whole thing was was we were gonna treat uh, this summer as how as, as kind of like where are we gonna be each week. At the end of the week, we would usually do seven on seven on a Tuesday, uh, and on that Thursday, we were doing uh, a little bit more seven on seven, and that was kind of like the grade of where we're gonna be at, you know. And gotcha. same thing, we go on a Tuesday. That 707, trying to really gel within the offense. You know, one of the first things is offense. Let's we're not going to use cards. And uh, a testament to my offensive coaches that we have not used a card this summer. You know, uh, getting used to the verbiage. Right, uh, right. So you know, that was kind of like that first goal. The second goal was let's make sure that every <coughs> receiver doesn't know the route tree as far as just kind of knows it there. Understand they concepts. understand it right. and they know the rhythm, a three-step slant to right. this is how we run, you know, and just the details of it, that was kind of the next goal, you know. And then the third goal, um, we were supposed to have a big 7-on-7 seven -seven, uh, within Lafayette at one of the schools, of course, the weather. Uh, that was going to be what I thought was, in my mind, like that was going to be our spring game. game. Gotcha. Weather right. interrupted a little bit. Um, we actually went yesterday to a high school to kind of, kind of play somebody else and compete a little bit and uh, it was still shortened by the rain but I was I was comfortable leaving there Good deal. I was proud of the kids I was proud of the coaches okay. you know how it is uh, when you're used to a system it's easy to communicate we're yeah. communicating on offense we were really communicating on defense now there was still plenty of things we have to work on but yeah I was uh, my head hit the pillow a little bit easier than what it did the previous week Ain't before. Got a chance to see those guys get in there, how they were going to to com compete. Exactly, and, and and for a lot of it's just yeah, for when there was a bad play, how they coming back right. out of that? Yeah, with adversity. And there was some and adversity stuff. plays, and the communication was still there. And I was like, we're on the right path. We're on the right path. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. I'll talk about some of the key players that that's there that we're going to see this upcoming season. So we're we're going to be a senior heavy team. We got some a uh, good group of um, you know youngsters, but uh, you know our quarterback uh, Jaden Broussard is it's his time to shine. It'll be his <coughs> first year. It's his team and a okay. uh, little great kid, a great leader. Um, he's a guy that. 
you know, you, you want on your team. He's a hard worker. He's there every single day. He's there when he doesn't have to be. Um, you know, we've got another one, Chad Broussard, is going to be uh, one of our receivers, Key Cogs, uh, another senior who um, he does more – uh, more things than I think even other players realize. He's 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 yes sir, no sir, and but then he's also you know when he runs a route it means something you know and he's coachable and he just uh, another one that will be um, what we want to resemble for Brokerage. You know when you put on the the helmet that's you want those type of guys. Uh, we have um, you know a, a a really good offensive line that's coming. Uh, we have a few seniors that's on there that's returning and. Uh, we have a few starters that, you know, that will really take hold of a little bit that we lost. And uh, and I think the leadership there is taking some time, but when it's there, it'll it'll be there. And uh, we have a really good junior receiver, uh, Isaiah LeBlanc, that uh, 6'3", I mean, can run, uh, hard worker, uh, a guy who, again, will be um, – he'll be a weapon within our offense. Uh, so whenever you have Isaiah at X and – uh, you have Chad at Z, and then we have a Say Chevalier, another about six three tight end that um, he can put his hand on the ground. We could flex him out, you know, which is huge because right, right. now it's harder to personnel. You know, if you're the defensive coordinator in the box, you have things. Where is he going to be? You know, and uh, is he going to be at the trips? Is he going to be away? Is he going to be inside? Where where he's is he? Attached. To find him. Outside. Find yeah, him. Right, and right, uh, right. and he's he's one that has a lot to learn. And uh, behind him, there's uh, there's an Ethan Cone that could be tight end, another six three. But these guys can do both, which is so beneficial. So you don't have to bring the run block and tight end to bring the pass right, in. Right, right. It's either or. But those. Those guys really uh, are are going to open up it uh, as far as run game. We have a, a Jacqueline Thomas who's really fast that could play kind of tailback or a slot. Um, we have Austin um, Balderas and and he's look he's short but he is so quick. Uh, probably the size of Trenton Holiday, but he's quick. You know he won't beat you in the forty, but. He's a little water bug. Uh, just uh, I think he'll be a junior, you know. And uh, then we have Daly Poche. He'll be fullback, uh, tailback. Uh, who, who he he's a load to bring down. And uh, so for us, you know, it was offensively we have those parts in places. And a lot of these guys that I just mentioned, uh, defensively, uh, we're three four, you know. And for us, it's a lot of those guys are gonna have to play a little bit of both ways, but um, you know our our linebacking core, which one of them, um, as far as Logan Roberts might be a D lineman one week if we're playing a wing T team, right. and he's an outside linebacker if we're playing a spread team, you know. And uh, but we have him, Balen Champagne, who's a junior, really good, smart kid, probably one of our. When you say he has the system nailed down, like he he has it, and. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a um, Jaden Chevalier is our strong safety, and man, I mean all these kids and look and I and I and I'm, I don't want to say their names because they correct. they deserve they gotcha, deserve gotcha. Uh, everything and uh and even the one the Ethan Combs I was saying it could be tight end like he's he's like am I tight end or my outside linebacker you both quit right. saying that you know and so for us a football player exactly he's best and so for him if Sage is that tight end. Uh, you know, it's like Ethan, you you outside linebacker, you playing rover for us. You know, we got to get those guys on the field, and uh, but we have some, we have some youth that again will um, that's that's coming up. But I mean, most of those that I mentioned, besides just a few, is senior, and I and I like that. And look, um, this is their third head coach in in four years. You know, and so for them, I'm so proud of them because. That adversity that we're kind of talking about, it's, they're used to a little bit of change. You know, they know how to handle it. If this was their first coaching change, it might be hard for those seniors. But, you know, they've been in three different coaching schemes, schematics, right. culture, everything. And uh, for them, it's just it's like another day. Just but a new coach, but you kind of know the culture already. Oh, you've been there. Because you've been there. You've, you've coached there. You've I love before, it. So you know how to relate to them coming in. It's it. And, um, and I think that attests to what you're saying, where you feel you are, even getting there late, where you feel y'all yeah. are right now being And look, I, didn't, I couldn't even tell you most of those names just a month ago. <laughs> right. But I'm, I'm just so proud of from the from number one to well, I think we actually do have a number 99. No, we don't have 99 players. Right, but, right. you know, just, just 
they just coming to work and, and feeding off of it and you know for me it's it's what makes it home I, i'm five minutes from the school okay so I, you're in the community I, i'm in it uh, i'm right. from natchitoches parish but look i like i like the down south food uh <laughs> I, you know and uh but the the just the bro bridge is a it's a special community it's uh it's very family oriented and you know when the kids come i mean it means something it's right. not a whole lot to do so Friday night, these kids have been coming to the game since you know they were young, right, and yeah. it's their turn. And I try to remind them, that's you know, big, you, that's big. yeah, leave it better than you found it because those little youngsters, is, they gonna be here soon yeah. too. And you know, every, every, right now. exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh -oh. Talk about the schedule, coach. I know that I don't know how much input you had. I know it's the new cycle. They um, they pretty much probably had new non district games. Maybe the district then switched up a little bit. And so the district will stay the same. Of course, okay. you have two of them that were just in the dome in Opelousas and Opelousas yeah. and So you know, two two opponents you have to respect. You know, and uh, you respect them whether they went to the dome or not. And uh, you know, Bosch and Livonia will be within the uh, will be within the district and. Uh, non district, we start to schedule out at uh, Natchitoches Central, which of course, for me being a you know well, from well, Natchitoches, right. it's, it's kind of fitting. On my first head coaching job, and the one that counts, you know, is is uh, against my hometown and everything, and uh, so it's it's fun, you know, and just to know that. And we have Vermillion Catholic, so again, another tough opponent, um, and then uh, we have St. Martinville, which of course, you know, when you say. She's setting up a schedule like St. Martinville used to be in our district, but you always want those close knit ones. So right. it's it's not just about the gate; it's it's the communities, you know. And it, it's fun, and of course, what they do over there is a, is a good program, and you know you're going to get a good test, and um, you know. So for those, you know, you really start out, and you're like, okay, here we are, and uh, and then we have like Kaplan coming to town, and um, the heavy wing T. So right. you know, you get to. You get to feel where you're at up front, you know, the physicality and what they bring. And, um, you know, I'm hoping what helps us, though, is uh, we have a scrimmage against New Iberia. Well, I, I still say niche, but uh, but then we have Acadiana for a jamboree. Come on. Well, right. we're going to – we'll get tested. You're going to see if you're going to stop the run. Right exactly. Now, you want to stop it. <laughs> and, 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 yeah, you're going to see who, who runs from it and who right. wants it. Right. And, and for us, that's those are two good opponents uh, just for the fact, though, that – yeah, you have you have two five A schools. You know we're a four A school, and for us, so to feel to feel that you know and, and know and know that again, Niagara Central, a five A school is. Um, I like the competition because right. we. It, to me, I don't want to be having to move puzzles or figuring out the puzzle week four or week five. I think through that no stint, we're going to know who we are. We We've seen a things spread we team practice all exactly. Day, right? We right. saw the Veer machine. I mean, we saw it. So. Right. Uh, Excited, but the schedule is uh, the schedule for us is if, even if I would have came in and had anything, uh, I think it's very similar to what I, I would have I, I would have wanted. It's going to bring out the best in us. Yeah. Last question: Tell us about our um, um, admin staff and, and the support. I, I know they're bringing you in. Um, you know, to tell us about the principal and some of those things that, that you've seen thus well, far, as far as inside the school and the support they give. Let me tell you, it's 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 one reason why again I. I I always say your parents might choose where you're born, but home for me is Bro Bridge. And uh, Lewis Blanchard is our principal, who's actually the the principal the whole time that I've been there, like from 2014 to 2021. And he wants to see every program, uh, you know, have success. And when you know the coaching job was uh, open, like our AD um, Gabe Cormier, who's also going to help coach football with us. He's a, he's our head baseball coach and uh, runs a top notch program and. You know, for those to have those guys, everything that they want to line up is for the kids and for Brobridge High to have success. And for me, it's the communication has been there. And, you know, since I first got the job and, you know, uh, I was still at my old house, well, at Church Point High, finishing out the school year. I just, you finish what you start, you know, but every day it's, it's, it was communication and making sure that we're all pulling in the same direction. and. A lot of that was getting a staff, you know, putting a staff together in May is it's tough. If it's January or February, but look, and, I, and you know, and I appreciate, and this is what I love about the coaching world, you know, it's the, the loyalty. You know, you call somebody and appreciate you calling, but I can't, you know, you know, but I found uh, Stephen Baird, our DC, um, who's been around and played at Karen Crow. He's a, he's awesome, and uh, he's a, he's an asset to our, our staff, and Nicholas Benoit, and, 
Uh, those are both guys that played some college ball, and uh, but then for him as OC, I mean, coming in and uh, relationships with the kids, you know, that's what I wanted to see, and they have great relationships. And uh, for me, if man, if you can run for a brick wall through your coach, well, the brothers that you run for it, it's right. even better. And uh, staff wise, the one coming back was Luke Bur uh, ba uh, Luke Barra, our offensive line coach, and it's nice to have that offensive line that knows the communication, knows that offense. But as far as um, as far as that, I mean, we've got Garen Jim, who's uh, a big time Karen Crow, and our linebackers coach, and even got a, 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 a he's the grandson of the living legend at Pro Bridge High. The coach's name was Coach Moad, that was okay. there forever, and his grandson's helping with the D line and. <clears throat> going to be a coach and right. so we have community that's that's built that's right. built in there and I still have a about two or three hopefully aces under my sleeve there that I can pull out before and I think is actually coming together and if I can get those guys those are two more pro bridge guys that I think we're there. So, I Coach, man, there's a, one game that we had to circle. I know you just named a whole bunch of big-time games, sound like it, but uh -huh. one game that we had to circle and say, man, we did, we definitely grew down. We need to be at this. It's going to be packed. It's going to be a going to be a big-time game. Um, I'll say <laughs> this, you know, and I respect every opponent that we have for sure, but uh, things are different around town when Cecilia comes. And with their success that they just had, right. uh, they're at home. Yeah, uh, they call it the Civil War. You okay. know, it's uh, yeah, it, is. it is looking. And for me, I live right in between, so I, you know, uh, luckily I don't have a whole lot of trees in my yard or anything right. else that they can come and get. But uh, <laughs> no, that is that is the one. And and right. it's it look and it's it's a uh, probably a lot of talking from both sides, but it's it's all in in fun and and you know for us uh, it's always a a good test to see because I mean you're talking about two four a schools that's only about five miles apart uh, you know I, it might be a little bit more but it, it can't be much more so these kids know these kids this isn't this isn't just you know you're coming from across town you know uh, no this is right. you're right I mean you you just jump on one road and go straight for a while and you're almost pretty much there you know so uh, that's the fun one uh, my first experience for a head coach uh, you know to, to go through the Cecilia window you know I, I know my, it'll be kind of like man it's now I get to be a head coach to go right. against this. What's this gonna feel? Is it? Uh, but yeah, it's that's the one. Field. It it's is, you know, and, and and for us, it's it's always good though when you know that it's it's just a good opponent that's coming to you right. that has it, you know, because yeah. for us, I mean, it's uh, yeah, it, we'll see about you know, can we can we make our mark throughout the schedule? And that one always has meant more to. Um, you know, to to Bro Bridge and and I feel like Cecilia too, and uh, but that'll I'm be excited. fun. It'll be exciting. Well, Coach, man, we'll be following you guys um throughout this season through your first year over there, <laughs> back at there and at the Hem. Oh yeah, yeah man, we'll definitely um man, great great luck to you. Thank um, you so it much. It sound like y'all got it rolling um in just a short time, and um you look like you're ready to go. Coach. I'm ready. I'm like, ready to get to practice. So we're gonna be following you guys, and we look forward to it. Um, you're here with with Gridiron Football. Stay locked in.